Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is gonna be another hiking episode. And in today's episode, we're gonna be taking on the Dallas Trail in Ure, Colorado. So let's go to the Dallas Trail. I made it to the Dallas trailhead. I'm gonna go up and sign in on the book. I've also let a couple people know that I'm going up trail today. That's always a good idea when you're going hiking to let people know where you're going, what trail. And it's always definitely a good idea to register and sign in the book. Here's uh, the trail sign it's kind of dark it says uh dallas corbett loop six miles and here's the book where you sign in uh let me get a little breakdown on the trail I believe all trails has this rated as a moderate to difficult hike it's about a seven mile there and back the first half mile is the hardest from what I understand because you're just going straight up the mountain and then once you crest and get over the top of the mountain, the trail kind of levels out a little bit. So uh, also equipment, I packed plenty of water, I got some snacks, learned my lesson from the perimeter trail uh, about maybe bringing something to eat, it kind of refuels you. I have some O2 because still having some trouble getting adjusted to the climate. Still not a 100% comfortable with it. I also have some bear spray because this is a time of year where the bears come out and there have actually been several bear sightings in Uray. And when I did the perimeter hike about a week ago, I did see bear tracks up there in the mountains, up there on the mountain around uh, the amphitheater. So I have bear spray, plenty of water, O2, my cell phone, and got my earbuds in to listen to some good tunes heading up the mountain, some John Denver kind of stuff. So I'm about to sign in and we're gonna go ahead and
tonight. A little update from the trail. Uh, according to all trails, I've been on trail 32 minutes or just over 32 minutes now. Three quarters of a mile in and 360 feet of elevation gain. And yeah, the first section, like they said, getting to this point, if you guys could see in the video, I don't know if you could tell, but was straight up. So the Dallas Trail URA section kind of puts it on you from the jump start. So far, the altitude's not really messing with me. I'm out of breath from doing that first section going straight up. So I'm kind of on some rocky kind of overlook. The Uncompadre River's below me. There's like a gorge. You can see, I think, the beginnings of the amphitheater. Beautiful so far, beautiful hike. Not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where I'm at right now. And this is the rocky outcrop I'm on. It's a lot of loose gravel, so I'm not gonna get too close to the edge. And there's the gorge with the Uncompadre River running through it. And the trail goes up some more. But it's pretty much leveled off at this point. So let me get back to it. More to come. kind of made it to a little bit of a junction and uh, one of the work campers that uh, I work with at the KOA here in Ure told me that the Corbett Trail is actually nicer than the Dallas Trail and I'm at a junction and I can either go left to take Corbett or right to take Dallas so I'm not sure what to do. Looks like the Corbett Trail. I don't know if you guys can read the sign, but it looks like the Corbett Trail goes higher up the mountain. And it looks like the Dallas Trail kind of goes around the side of it. Well, since this is, a, this is the Dallas Trail, video then i'm gonna go ahead and take dallas and i'm gonna do some research on corbett and uh maybe i'll come back up and veer to the left and take the corbett trail and that'll be another video but let's continue on on the dallas trail
everybody. Uh, according to all trails, I'm two and a half miles in. Been hiking for two hours and 10 minutes with 1,355 feet of elevation gain. And I'm just over 9,000 feet in elevation on the trail. And it looks like I'm pretty close to the payoff and the end of the trail. And I believe the payoff and end of the trail is a creek. And uh, right now I'm hiking through an aspen grove, kind of like in a saddle. And I'm gonna spin the camera, I'll let y'all show. There's still snow on the ground up here and it's pretty cool. So I'm glad I got my uh, sweatshirt on. And yeah, I've had to take a couple hits of oxygen. Once I started getting about 9,000 altitude started getting to me. So let me show you guys this little Aspen Grove I'm hiking through real quick. <clears throat> Still a lot of snow on the ground up here. And these are all the Aspen trees. And I'm betting this trail in the fall when all these aspen trees are turning and they're all gold is absolutely gorgeous so i will be doing this hike again in the fall for sure because it's going to be beautiful and yeah i'm going to film it too so you guys can see all these trees uh these aspens with their gold fall colors but that's it for now almost there Like I'm gonna make it to uh, the payoff of the end of Dallas Trail. I've used up about half my water and still got a probably a good ways left to go. My military training and you know water is important when you're out on mission and I've used up half of mine so I'm at the point where I gotta turn around but I know now I definitely need to pack in more water. I need to get a camel back for my backpack for sure and bring additional water. Uh, the only problem with that is my pack was already about 35 pounds. Toting in all that water just makes it even more heavy. But this has been a spectacular hike. It's been a challenging one. It didn't defeat me. It was just poor planning on my part. So. I will be back and I will conquer the Dallas Trail with more water. The views have been spectacular, but it's time to head back down. I'm going to eat my trail snacks 
and start heading back and uh, give you all some shots heading back because sometimes on a hike or actually on a hike you need to turn around and look behind you because the views behind you can be just as beautiful or more beautiful than the views ahead of you let's see where i'm at right now according to all trails i'm 3.4 miles into the trail been hiking for three hours and 40 minutes 1936 feet of elevation gain and right now i'm sitting at an elevation of uh, just over 9400 feet that's it for right now i'm gonna eat my trail snacks and start heading back it's been real been a great hike even though i didn't make it to the end it's been a great hike let's head back keep pushing oh let me show y'all the view i don't know if y'all be able to see it too good with all the aspen trees but this is what i'm looking at right now Pretty nice spot to have lunch, huh? <laughs> Let's push back. it back to the trailhead just got finished signing back in on the registry book and i like to do that as a hiker i like to sign the registry book when i'm on trail and when i come off trail that way if anybody checks the books they know i done i came and went overall impressions of the Dallas Trail, the Ure sector. It was a 
yeah it was a moderate to difficult trail for the most part it is upward the whole way i didn't make it all the way to the end i ran short of water and that was poor planning on my end but next time i will make it to the end of this trail there were a lot of muddy patches from snow melt and i had to do some snow crossings at the higher elevations snow so deep it was up to my thigh so i've learned a good bit i'm sorry i'm pulling up all trails to give you the stats on this let me see give me one second all right all trail stats time was six hours and five minutes distance 6.56 miles round trip elevation gain 2083 feet and recorded highest elevation let me see was a little over 9400 feet was the highest elevation i achieved if you don't have all trails plus and you're going to do some hiking i highly suggest it all trails plus that uh they're not a sponsor of the channel but there was a couple of sections in the hike that had a bunch of downed trees from beetle kill I, I had to go off trail quite a ways and then get back on trail and if i wouldn't have had the all trails app it would have been a little bit of a struggle to find the trail because some of the trails overgrown up there a lot of limbs covering it but if you're going to do any kind of real hiking whether it be in the rocky mountains like me or the smokies wherever you are highly suggest you get the all trails app it came in so handy on this hike that's it for this one and if you guys like this hiking video and you want to see more hiking videos well there's more to come give us a thumbs up don't forget hit that subscribe button ring the bell for notifications and leave me comments down in the uh comment section on this trail and on this video i really would appreciate the support and it would help me out a lot with the algorithm but that's it for this hike there's more to come in our little hiking series and as we say in louisiana les bon temps roule let the good times roll and i'll see you next time bye bye